YouTube. This is a new season. Unfortunately, the um, London Orient versus London Orient game crashed and ended my season right there, so I've had to restart again. So this is kind of like season two game number one, I guess. So we have a new Leighton Orient team or London Orient team against crew and the usual guys in here. Hopefully we don't get the same problem again facing ourselves in the quarterfinals of the Prestige Cup. That'd be pretty nasty. So here's a quick overview of my team. I've got Pringle in goal. Very, very young and strong team here, to be honest. And I'll, um, I'll show you basically what I've done. So Pringle in goal, Clementine in uh, defence. We've got Anakudo. He was a 25-year-old Oh, sorry, 26 year old goalkeeper, really, really good stats. Quite cheap, actually. It was, it's about, about 70k, which is pretty decent. So we've got Heen again, another decent young goalkeeper. Uh, well, well, no, actually, no, he's not. He's just a, just a general, general rock in defence. I thought he was the young one. But Coltman, he uh, picked him up with an automatic stat as well. So he's got like a, a one two passing ability. Really decent for a, a defender. Well, it's morely used for midfielders. But um, yeah, I'm trying to like get his stats up. He is a 26-year-old, level 19 with a stat already learned, which is really, really good. So uh, next up we have Good Lad. Good Lad. So he's um, a decent, de decent midfielder. I could also put him up front and have him playing up front. But again, as you can see, my forwards are pretty decent. I've got a really good midfielder at the top here. Again, my midfield lineup and up front lineup is really young: 25, 25, 25, 27, 26, and 25. 13, 18, 11, and obviously an 18, 25 year old here is really good for midfield light up. Shakar, uh, Shakara, young, decent stats. Again, I'd like to have these a bit higher, but I've actually put them on the outside edge so that he has that ability to, to at least play around. Again, I had a bit of a play around with my setup. So I only have, like, I've got the four men in the back row to help against anything um, dangerous going back there. With uh, Coltman on the edge on one side. I'd like Coltman in the middle, to be honest, because he's a really, really good defender, but I can do that now, so that's not a problem. So Coltman can be the sweeper and have these guys just piling up in front of them. Good defensive stats. They're not going to get bonuses or anything like that being in those positions, but uh, they are very, very good defensive stats, so it's not a problem to have them there. And they can block regardless. Uh, anakido has got a really good control stats, so if I put the ball with Anakido, um, I can just... Um, I can literally just sit him in that hole and just leave him there and he'll be absolutely fine. Um, I may even switch him around, but I like to have a decent passer in the back row as well, especially in that middle piece. Because uh, again, trying to get the ball out is, is kind of difficult unless you've got a really good passer. So 16 passing, uh, 19 passing is where I want to go there and stick there. So again, Slipper, he's my man. He's my man in the centre, great control, uh, well, average control, great passing stats. Um, 17 for, for accuracy is not bad at all. That's a really good lineup for a centre midfielder. Uh, he's right in there. Defence isn't so great, but control is pretty much where we want him. We don't want him with the ball, if that makes sense. So we, we want him with the ball, but not um, attacking uh, with defensive stats. So that's pretty much where we want to be. Um, up front, Amitage. 25 years old with a 38 attack stat. It's just insane. Brilliant stat. It really helped us out here. Again, I, as usual, I've put him out on the wing. There's my go-to man. He's going to be my attacker for, for this season. He's going to be really good. Good passing stat with 18. Again, his other stats are pretty low, but I'm going to just start working and making this guy a forward because he's going to be a, a, a man to go to in the future. Our, diff, our actual um, bench is relatively weak. You know, I've got Drink down here. He's going to be my substitute for Leopard. Uh, or, um, yeah, Leopard. He's only level four. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to cough there. Um, he's only level four. His stats are quite weak, but he's not the one that's going to be getting the ball and scoring goals. So he's going to be um, pretty much on there just to, to leak some EXP for Amitage. And then I'm going to bring Dring on either for Amitage or for um, or for Leopard and see how I go from there. Or it could be Leopard, Leopard, Leopard. Either way, it doesn't matter. Craig is literally a defender, but he's only there because his stats in defence are pretty decent. He's a, he's a holding defender, so I just want him there to win balls, hold the ball if necessary. 15 isn't bad control. Uh, if I need him there, he's there. So 4-3-3 is my formation for this one. I sold a few players. It was I, I had to. I had no choice really. Um, you know my club needed it so I've just left this at uh, 10,000 
next season I want to hold on to as much money as possible if I can complete the season that'd be fantastic because obviously it crashed before I got a chance to complete it but um, yeah uh, literally everybody in my starting 11 except for Pringles on a one year contract so I'm going to need to renew those contracts and there are some expensive players in my lineup so if I, I'll give you an example like Coltman 420k as a defender young defender very very good 420k I need that money 40k for this guy you know that's fine I'm okay with him Clementine Clement uh, he's fine good lad 70k he's gonna be good he's gonna be he's gonna be our number one midfielder so I want to keep him keep him on board as much as possible 75 uh, 70 50 is pretty decent but obviously as they level up they're gonna cost more as you can see good lad he's 7 70 50 uh, Slipper is 70 70 and Chikari is 70 40 right now so when these guys start to get up to the similar sort of level in the XP they're going to be costing me a lot of money so I need to keep that money spare uh, Craig's not a problem uh, Leopard is again he's, he's 39 70 he's not a problem but we're going to have Amitage and he's going to be leveling up a lot so he's going to cost a lot of money but they're all one year one year deals look they're all in one year deals so if I can I want to be signing them to long contracts keep them with the club and hopefully we'll have a, a good time here. Now, Crew is an extremely good squad now. So in the last campaign, they weren't that great. They are very average, but you look at them now, 22, 25, 27, 16, 26, um, 23, so 16 is on this edge, um, and he's flanked by, by a 23. So it's gonna be pretty difficult getting through here. The midfielders, 26, 24, 23, but again, their, their defensive stats and control stats are garbage. So it is what it is, and their strikers are 21 and 33. So that again, it's not great for us. Um, we should be okay to be honest. I think we've got a decent enough defensive lineup to sort that out. That's seven minutes of explaining this new this new setup, and let's just get in and just start kicking some a with the old contracts. Now I don't know if I showed what I'd um, I'd accepted as my level up stat in the last one. I leveled up. Um, ah, what did I level up? It was. Uh, what do I want to pass to? Amitage, isn't it? Oh no, he's intercepted. Oh, snap. And he defended against that one. And he won't defend against that. Okay. Right, so uh, yeah, in the last one, um, I upgraded my second. Um, oh, what was his name? My second scout so that I could um, get extra EXP. Want that, so I want to move to here. And let's make this shot 33 against 19 and 33. I roll a six and it's intercepted. And it's what it is. Too bad. Um, so yeah, this time around I upgraded my primary, uh, my primary scout, and he gives me access to, I believe it was level um, like 25 year old players. So it gives me a chance to. Um, scout them and I yeah wow I really can't get the tackle in here that's insane that is insane he's just run straight through that middle block there oh he's passing it okay there's a big line up there that's not going anywhere all right so what have I got left I have this is my last three turns so what's good lad got for passing it's garbage uh, Craig your passing is mediocre at best. This is really, really not good. Because you've got a 9 for pass that. Let's do that. Slip a pick the ball up. Um. Slip the moves to there. Alright, so hopefully they just pass turn. There we go. So I want to move you to there. Pass to Amitage. And Amitage for the shot. 8-8-2. Eight, eight and two. And that's a goal for Amitage. 1-0 to London Orient. And it's half time. So I was actually hoping that they would pass turn. Because obviously I was in that position where they couldn't really take the ball off of me. So these two guys are pretty tired already. You know what I mean? They're only youngsters. They are learning skills, mind you, so there is always that. Um, I could move Coleman in and bring on uh, Boldain, stick him in Coleman's position. I could do that for Slipper. 
I might leave it for now. I'll switch probably Dringe in uh, about halfway through the half. So I want to keep, keep an eye on that one. So start second half. And it's going to put us at 24 turns. So when we reach the 12 turns, I'm going to make the substitutions and hopefully better get these guys on. Wow, was that really necessary to make a shot from there? Oh, well he's made the tackle. Oh, no. Oh, wow, I should really get that. It's a slipper. Move slipper into here. And go from there. So it's unfortunate, you know. At the end of the day, I have I have put a video out for the the, the devs. That I, you know, at the end of the day, I recorded the video for you guys uh, as the let's play. So it's there. It's just a matter of um, them being able to see it. Uh, layoff pass. There. Nice. Wow, that's good. Amitage, that's a long shot. And it's in. It's a goal for another goal for Amitage. And there we go. We're going to go with some subs now. So, let's... Hang on, Amitage seems pretty decent. So, I'm just going to bring Dinged on. We're going to move that one now. So, we're going to bring... Um, you know what? I think I'm happy with leaving them as they are. Uh they're all good, so I'm just going to leave them as they are, to be honest. I just want to give Amitage a chance to uh, just get his breath back so he can be fresh for the next game. And I'm probably going to get a shot off here. Just an immediate block there, but passed it back to him. So It's going to be uh, Heaney in for a 29 versus 22 as a 1 for 1. That's fine. It's going to be a lofted pass. What, from there, really? A pass of 19, that's a lofted pass. Alright, whatever. To slipper then. And Slipper's going to move forward a couple. There we go. Probably going to move Amitage into here. Make the pass. Take the shot. If you, as long as I keep hold of the ball, that is. <laughs> and there's Slipper going in for a bit of a dodging now. Oh, they read my mind. They read my mind. Amitage in there. Pass it off. Take the shot. That's what I'm going to do. Pass to Amitage. Amitage for the hat trick. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's try it. Keep saving it. Just saved by the goalkeeper. Necessary save. It was the end of the match. So that's a 2 new win for, uh, for our first game against Crew. So Amitage is going to get the extra EXP. I want him getting XP because he's going to be the man. He's going to be the, the one that's going to be taking home all the, uh, all the credits there, to be honest. So... Extra 25 EXP, 15 and 5 for Slipper. And uh, doing okay, Leopard gets his, his level up, which is what I wanted. And Stringe gets a little bit of EXP, that's, that's, that's alright, that's, that's not too bad. Gee, that's quite a bit of EXP for Dringe actually, that was half a bar. Or, no, actually, no, not, he didn't play, so he wouldn't get any EXP anyway, so yeah, he wasn't on. Good win, good win. So 2 0 for us, uh, Wednesday 1 2 0, Doncaster 1 4 0. And Barnsley won 3 1. So this time round, it's probably going to be um, Doncaster and Crew that are going to be sort of fighting at the top of the table for position. And uh, we're going to be sitting there a little bit behind. So thank you very much for watching this game, and I'll see you guys in the next match.